Dear Arlene, I never paid much attention to the family center until I found myself in a domestic abuse situation. Thank God that there is a place to take a child in the middle of the night. My husband is handicapped and in need of special care. His doctor called our attention to the adult daycare center. We will forever be grateful to the dedicated workers at the center. In kindergarten, I was diagnosed as dyslexic and hyperactive with a learning disability. When I found out about the literacy council, I was very excited about the one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Words on a page, honest and simple. Telling what often can't be spoken, but telling stories we should hear. I wish to express my thanks to Mid-State Epilepsy Association. For over 40 years, I was the person who had epilepsy, but knew the least about it when seizures took place. Mid-State Epilepsy Support Group helped me to get together with others having... Behind these letters are your friends and neighbors in Southwood County, whose words echo problems that are painfully real. This is to say thank you for when I needed some help in making a decision on releasing my unborn child for adoption. I would have been all alone in raising a baby when I myself was not yet fully grown. This was the toughest decision I ever had to make, but you were there to listen. My life has taken a turn for the better now. I was able to graduate from high school and have been accepted into a college. I think about that child I no longer have. Some days I'm sad, other days I am so happy for the decision that allowed my child to have a better life than I could offer. All my thanks. Through your support of programs like these, you'll be giving so many others the strength and courage to rebuild their lives. Whether it's counseling, safe shelter, adult daycare, life-saving skills, or help for a child from a broken home, like Brian. My son, Brian, fell prey to a broken home. I felt nothing but a pervasive sense of failure, accompanied by low self-esteem. No matter how hard I would try to reassure Brian that we would make it and give him the attention he needed, there was something missing in Brian's world. I needed help. Brian's mom, Yvonne, found that help through the Big Brothers program. A lot of thought and personal consideration was given to Brian and the volunteers interested in becoming his big brother. I think Brian is more confident of himself in doing things. He's more independent. He feels like he counts. He's an individual, not someone that is just second best. I feel more confident as a single parent. I feel that Brian now is um, getting attention and some guidance that I probably could never give him and the advice that he needs growing up. Brian's big brother throughout the years has played a crucial role in helping him feel confident about himself. As Brian matures, I see his needs and priorities changing. I hope that one day he can look back at his childhood days with pride and give himself as a volunteer. With the help of the Southwood County United Way, your Big Brothers and Big Sisters program has provided companionship and loving guidance for children like Brian. Because of you, programs like these and others supported by your United Way bring hope to so many. Dear American Heart, I really learned a lot from the materials you provided to Woodside School. After I learned about the heart and fitness, I changed my world. When I retired, I had to build a whole new world. So I called Darlene at the Volunteer Center and launched my career. Thank you for supporting the Boy Scouts. I especially like scouting for food. It gives me a good feeling that I am helping the not so fortunate. Your contribution to your local United Way will continue making a difference in the lives of others. Your gift of time and money provide direct support to your friends and neighbors every day. So please, give generously. And when you give, know that you'll be helping to write a happy ending to many letters from the heart. Thank God that there is a place to take a child in the middle of the night. We will forever be grateful to the dead. I feel better about myself
thank you all for your prayers and support. Brian's big brother throughout the years has played a crucial role in helping him feel confident about himself. Ever grateful, Yvonne.